We're Eamon and Beck, and for the past two years, we have lived quite comfortably in our tiny home on wheels. And as two people who love to host, we've often maxed out our 60 square feet with dinner parties and traveling friends. But even with such limited space, we've decided to invite another six foot two adult to come and stay with us for a week in Scotland. We'll all be sleeping, cooking, and pooping in our wee van trinity. Hiya everybody and welcome to... Scotland. Scotland. We last left you guys in Northern Ireland and from there we spent a day of exploring in Belfast while we waited for our overnight ferry to get here in Galway. Yeah, we booked an overnight ferry to save $40 and I'm not sure it was worth it. It wasn't worth it. Is it a mobile home or class? Yes. Gas has been turned off? Yep. Everything is packed yourselves? Yeah. You're, yes. you're not filming, are you, sir? No, sir. Plan for today is to head north. But first, I'm gonna head into the pet store to see if I can get some coconut core for our composting toilet. And I'm just buying a few groceries. So this is what we use for our composting toilet, and it's coconut core, but you need to rehydrate it. So we just put it in our cooler and then let it sit for a few hours while we drive, and then you'll see it. It'll, it'll make it like a, almost like a wood chip kind of material, nice and dry. And then that's what you use in the composting toilet to take a nice vegan dump on top of. Just You guys know we're using expert planners. So we've come to this spot. It's one of the spots on Park for Night and I'm not sure we're gonna fit. Concern number one. Concern number two. <laughs> oh, no. oh, oh. oh, I'll let you just suck it out there, babe. It's a little soft. Why don't you guys just go have a look? Oh, this is beautiful. Look at this, we got a private beach right there. I'm tempted. This are really great to just take a couple of hours and give a deep clean of the house because we can open it all up, clean it out. So I'm gonna do kitchen area, fridge, that sort of thing, and that Eamon's up on the roof cleaning up the solar panel. Oh, I thought you were on the roof. I was. You've got solar panel and toilet duty. <laughs> Once I start cleaning, I honestly cannot stop. I'm now cleaning the drawer faces, the baseboards, you name it, I'm cleaning it. Hiya. Nice clean toilet. Thanks for going and dealing with the poop away from the van. That's Welcome, always buddy. nice. Oh, look at you, and you cleaned out the fan? I also got your <gasps> new fan. Oh, you guys wouldn't believe how dirty that gets. Okay, hello, Mr. Johnny Flyco. That's a funny looking carrot. Dropped a carrot, yeah. Hello. <laughs> oh, let me patch you through. Oh, hi. Yeah, that'll be fine. Okay, see you soon. <laughs> this is one of the meals that I make. I make breakfasts, which is yogurt and fruit. I make coffee in the morning. I make mama's nuki soup from the cookbook. And I make stir fried rice. You can count it on a hand. <laughs> Also, I was gonna say we're in a good habit of having a like rice or quinoa mm. prepared in the fridge, so it makes lunches so much easier. Also, it's taken a while, but we finally got gas for all oh, that sound, baby, for the soda stream. Oh wow. Well, looks like there's no service here. No problem. Another reason I really love just slowing it down for a day or two in between all of our travel is we just take the time to reset not only the van but ourselves. So Eamon and I are going to jump into a quick little workout. You look 
looking at me, I'm looking back at you. You're sending me signals, I gotta have you. So don't hold back. back, back, back. We're getting closer, the rhythm is so good. You coming over, just like I told you, we won't. Hello. Welcome to the day after the last. So yesterday was a pretty random day. We had lots of things to do because today, as you can see, we're at the airport picking up a special guest. We also launched our EV Cook For Me with our very first guest in the house. Thank you to Vicky for being so amazing. If you don't live in the country that we're doing the contest for at that time, Please don't use the hashtag because I've had to write everyone who actually lives in Scotland out on a list, handwritten. And now we're going to use a random generator. There's only 15 of you, so the hope will be Oh, uh, the chances are good. The chances are good. So I'm just going to go to like random number generator. That sounds good, right? And then I'll put them 1 to 15. Oh! Who is okay, it? Okay, so the username is the Tory Tree. Vicky! Hi! <laughs> hey, it's a neighborhood van lifer. <laughs> More groceries. Vic's a little nervous. Nice to meet you! you too. Vicky, nice to meet you! <laughs> wow, thanks for being our first ever cook for me! Yeah, yeah welcome! welcome. Oof. Thank you, Chef Eamon. Welcome, ladies. Enjoy! What do you think of the soup? It's really good. You can tell by how much I've eaten already. Even though it's piping hot. <laughs> okay, so the Vixter has invited us back to her place. I just want to say really quick, it's been mm. so lovely. Wow, First good of all, lighting, meeting huh? you, Vicky. No, it's not bad. Okay. Yeah. And to like open ourselves up to this, because I, I did I tell the camera I was nervous before? Did I tell she hated the idea. When Ryan hated the her. idea. I was, I was just so like, nervous as well. Why? When it happened, I was just like, oh no, what have I done? Oh. <laughs> And so excited, going? like I really wanted to meet you guys. Oh. So long, Mary and McGee, love once again, again, Mary And now we're here to pick up someone very special, so let's go get him. Last time Adam came to visit us, we were at the wrong airport to pick him up. And so just now, of course, we're standing in the wrong arrivals area. <laughs> like a bunch of dodo. Idiot. Oh, we found him. Oh. How you well, doing? the last time we picked you up, you said you were bummed that we didn't have the camera. Yeah, true. So Son here we go. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Welcome to Scotland. I left three degree weather and it's like 19 degrees. Horrible there. decision. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome home, baby. <laughs> right, well, we got a, some light showers. <laughs> Adam's going to take a little uh, nap in the back while we cruise a couple hours towards Isle of Skye. Realizing today is going to be a bit of a drive and mellow day, so we will catch you guys tomorrow. I have a full itinerary planned. Don't worry, for all those wondering, are we going to see Adam in the yellow trunks? <laughs> yes, I'm wondering the same thing. <laughs> we'll catch you tomorrow. Exhibit A here, you'll see the throne. You can simply pull the throne out. Oh, all the don't way to do the side. that. You've lost the pee thing. Oh, that's disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> You don't want that to happen, then the pee yeah, goes everywhere. You gotta make sure that that guy's on. I still need to get a better clamp for that. Now, don't just rush and sit down. <laughs> That'll be a complete disaster. <laughs> you have to make sure that guy just folds down, and you'll have a look. And it's just compost in there. <laughs> have a look. <laughs> and um, as I was saying, I'm a more of a bigger physique, which I think you are as well. <laughs> is if I just sit down. I'll get a little bit of back splatter right there. So just a little inch, just like less than an inch, just a little this bit. This is quite forward. an in-depth tour. And then you'll go right in. Just lean forward. Yeah, don't worry about urine. It separates urine. If you've got a seriously heavy flow, maybe slow the flow down. <laughs> 
<laughs> but other than that, you're good, man. Enjoy yourself. Keys, please. All right, so we got a pretty action-packed day planned here today from our number one head chief planner. <laughs> First stop of the day is for all the Harry Potter lovers out there. Which we're not really big fans, hey, but... Hey, you speak for yourself. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I wouldn't call you a really big <laughs> no, fan. No, yeah, no, I'm not, but I'm um, excited nonetheless. But we've seen a couple movies, and we're gonna check out the famous... Choo Choo! You excited, kid? Let's go. We've just realized that we're just going to make it to see the train go by. See, now it's saying 10.52. This just keeps adding this congestion, whatever's happening. We decided to switch seats, and now we've got the drone in hand. The only way we're gonna make it is with the drone, because it's still 10 minute walk from the parking lot. I just saw the train come along here. It's right here, we're gonna pass it, see? Oh, wow! Dude, dude! <laughs> Pull over. Right here. Get the drone in the air. Guys, we missed it by 10 seconds. Wow! I had the drone in the air and I just caught the end of it and it, it just parks up there. <sighs> and lets passengers off, I guess. I think it's like kind of to show. I read that it slows down. So did you get it over there? <laughs> <laughs> I got the bridge. There's two ways to look at that. We uh, could have got up earlier. Or the traffic screwed us, but you gotta roll with the punches. Yeah. We kind of got to taste it a little bit just by being there and, and kind of seeing the smokestacks, but hey, what are you gonna do? Magic. And now breakfast. And now, more importantly, breakfast. <laughs> Rating out of 10? 10. The Unanticipated first stop of the day is a castle. Let's go check it out. We just hit a little bit of a roadblock. Not a roadblock. What is it? Payment block? <laughs> yeah, ticket. <laughs> you have to get a ticket to go in, and uh, I don't know if it's worth it. Yeah, I don't know. Going inside a building and looking at walls doesn't really do it for me. Old walls. Old walls. Yeah. Sixth century walls? <laughs> Is that what Becca said? We need, we need Becca to hit the facts. 10 pounds per person to go into the castle, which I was gonna get, and then I realized you can't film, so. And we're vloggers. And we're vloggers. So, <laughs> what's, the point? what's the point? Although we're not bringing you inside today, I wanted to give you a fun fact. This castle was built in 500 AD. But don't be fooled, because most of what you see back there was roughly 1920s, 1930s. Good job, actor Adam. <laughs> this is so weird. <laughs> so the last stop wasn't all that successful, but we now have made it to the beautiful town of Portree. And we're actually gonna go for lunch. We're gonna get out of this van, kind of been cooped up all day. Let's go explore. I don't even know if I need my uh, jacket. Uh, uh, it's beautiful though. I'm feeling a little car sick, so I didn't have much, but um, we each got a veggie burger, tomato soup between us, and Adam had a mac and cheese. And the food? Come see, come saw. So we just left the town of Portree. We're driving 15 kilometers, which should only take a few minutes, but we're on these really uh, tiny roads. They're double, and then they go into single, and I guess there's like a real proper etiquette waiting your turn and just saying hello thank you but we'll be there in five minutes we'll show you where we're going and we've arrived to the old man of store not exactly sure what we're gonna get up to here I'm not sure if there's a walk in the area or if we're just gonna check her out but it is very beautiful Does anybody know what flag that is leave it in the comments below all right I don't want to guess wrong but my guess is like Austria So we talked to some people who just came down from the hike uh -huh. and they said that it's actually more impressive if you just drive along more, you can get a good look at it because once you get up there, it's just the rock. So we'll just do a little viewpoint and then we'll go to my hike. Instead of hiking, we're just gonna let Mr. Zumi pop up there and show you what it looks like. See you buddy. Enjoy the place guys. Went down to the city with a suitcase in my hand, looking for. 
for a better deal I'm trying to find myself a plan Roaming around the streets Filling up some useless time And if I'd seen her then and there I would have asked her to be mine Oh, another safe flight. Good boy. <laughs> so now we've arrived to the Brothers Head Trail. I read a great blog. Um, I'll link it below if I can remember where I read it. It's often the, the one with no tourists. It's kind of like this random little sign with a monk on it told me how to get there. Before that, we're letting the drone charge. So we're gonna make some matcha. And Adam's doing the dishes, which is really kind. Come to Scotland, it'll be fun, they said. <laughs> Is it not? <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I think what else I can share? I got a pimple on my forehead. Yeah, we see that. <laughs> That's pretty much it. Ooh, someone will dream about ooh, something to talk about. <laughs> 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 Communicating with the animals. day there's like no tourists here the sun is setting it's a little choppy with the wind but we probably can't hear no you complaints. no complaints <laughs> by now I'm sure you know that I love nothing more than a hike with a great view this hike had an amazing view and as much as I'd love to stay here and wish we had packed a picnic dinner we're gonna head back to the van in the van Woo! so guys we have another about an hour in the van it's been a pretty drive heavy day and we've been listening to an audiobook that Adam selected this time we're really excited to say that audible has yet again sponsored us and supported this channel audible has an unmatched library of books and we love using it because with all these long drives we're able to stay informed and entertained and this week we have selected What's it called? Can't Hurt Me by David Goggins. Honestly, we are really dialed in. We're kind of at the point where we get to a location. We're like, 10 more minutes. Let's just let him finish his thought because it's such a raw, engaging. The guy has an unbelievably horrific story and he's he's just got a really strong mindset and lots of cool key learnings. To... True motivator. Once you. Yeah. Anyway, go listen to it. If you, want. <laughs> if you guys want to try out Audible, you can go to www.audible.com slash Eamon and Beck for one free month and a free Audible book, audio book. Um, you can also text 500 500 Eamon and Beck. Okay, we're going to tune in and we'll catch you at the dinner. What's what, what are we Camp doing spot, now? maybe another stop on the way. You never know with me, do you? We'll see. <laughs> Within hours, they strip me and everyone else of our uniforms and reputations until we all look the same. Officers lost rank, and minted special forces warriors like me became nobodies with a hell of a lot to prove. We arrived at our camp spot for the evening. It is absolutely beautiful. We've got Adam and Chef Eamon in the kitchen. What? We've got a beautiful sunset happening. And I'm just trying to clean up the house and restore order. 
gets a little hectic with three. We made an absolutely enormous amount of rice the other day. I don't know why, but we just did. Um, this is, there's still more in the fridge. <laughs> so we've got rice and then we made a real freestyle curry. And it's basically lentils and coconut and lentils. And so lots of rice, but you guys can easily finish what's left here. The two of you, split that right down the middle. Oh yeah, that's not bad. Yeah. Let's do it. Okay. How much protein have we had today? Not a lot. <laughs> <laughs> Classic. We just found out Eamon didn't do his push-ups today, you guys. Let's go. 100 day challenger, bro. You can't be a phony to your followers. No. Let's go, man. Oh, it goggins, dude. Let's go. Oh my god, I'm not going outside. It's freezing. No. <laughs> We're gonna get it. I might as well do some stuff. There you go, babe. Uh, it's 11.30 and we now have a CrossFit gym in the van. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go, man. Oh, you, you rich, rich. I just put a rich in on card. I ain't go play a ball, but I said, You did one on one. The last one was just a bonus. Woo! The champ is here. It's all. He still got a few. <laughs> well done. I'm gonna brush my teeth now. <laughs> it's time for bed. <laughs> time for bed. <laughs> Three. Two, one. Oh, Nelly. How long do you think you did? <laughs> you said a minute and a half. <laughs> Woo! Nice job, nice. dude. I always, I always do that to my students, too. Woo! I say one minute, but we do two. I thought, like, that was a long, <laughs> <laughs> was a long minute and a half. This is Adam's contraption. I think we told you in Mexico, we had just bought a piece of foam, folded it in half, and said, Merry Christmas. Now he's got a fancy Nancy. <laughs> Merry Christmas. Thing. That was such a good line. He uses all the time. Yeah, he's all, I stole that from the book. Also, guys, this is going to be our last vlog here in Scotland. And we're moving on back to England next, which we're really excited about because we're doing a hashtag EB cook for me. If you don't know what that is, basically, we're going to cook for one of you. All you need to do is drop the hashtag in this video below. Uh, as well as pick up a copy of our cookbook, which is 52 plant-based recipes. Choose your recipe and we will come pick for one of you. Breakfast, lunch, dinner, whatever you want. All right, bro, have a good night. Okay. See you. What should the homies do? Subscribe to the channel? Uh-huh. <laughs> is that what you want? Yeah, that's what I want. Uh, anything else? Oh, they could like it too. They can like it there. Thumbs right. up. Yeah, peace. Lights out. Mm. No, no, no. It's not that light switch. <laughs> Thanks, <laughs> back. Hey. Hey. <laughs>